Okay, so the first episode I'm going to be reviewing is obviously the first episode in the show, Pilot Part 1. Um, it's the only episode that I know of that doesn't actually have the Lost um, spinning intro logo. Other Maybe the 48 Days doesn't have it. I think I remember that one not having it. But um, other than that, it's the only episode without the intro, which is interesting. Um, but it still has the loft at the end. Um, supposedly the most expensive TV episode ever created. Or at least it was when it was made. I'm not sure if it is anymore, but anybody who worked on Lost will tell you that a million times. Because that's all they talk about on the special features. Um, for season one. Uh, so yeah, I mean, you can tell that they put a lot of money into it, um... The explosions are pretty awesome, and they've got that whole airplane there, and, um, the wreckage just looks really realistic for a TV show, and I mean, this was the first kind of, dr kind of drama show that I started watching, so I'm not sure if there were any shows that had the, like, production quality of Lost before this, um, but, like, I mean, nowadays there are, because there's stuff like... Mad Men and stuff like that, and I, I mean, The Sopranos and stuff like that started before Lost, so maybe that had the kind of production quality, but I'm not sure that there was a primetime network TV show that was, like, as, uh, movie-like in quality, I guess you could say, as Lost. Um, it just feels a lot like a mini-movie, sort of, especially the first two episodes. Um... So yeah, the explosions are great. I mean, you can tell that they put a lot of money and effort into the show. Um, and I think the first episode is a really good one. I mean, it's the episode that we all probably started on. So um, I think it's good enough to keep us watching. Um, whether or not they had things like Jacob and man number two and stuff like that planned out from the first episode I don't really know I mean watching Jack Shepard run around in his suit around a beach and looking back at it now and how he's a candidate to become this new protector of the island in season six I don't know I don't know if they had the plan that everyone on the island was a candidate because it just seems a little unbelievable to me to think that they had all that planned out way ahead. And this was back when J.J. Abrams was still involved with the show and really was in charge of what was going on rather than, um, Darleton. Um, so I think, I think, uh, that J.J. had a vision for what this show was going to be, and I think it was not what the show ended up as which in some parts could be good could be bad I mean as we saw the ending didn't really fit with with uh, Darleton's overall scheme of things so maybe JJ had a better plan for how it would have all worked together but then we don't know if it could have been just a show about some people on an island and there was a company there called the Dharma Initiative, and that was it. I mean, Darleton took it to a whole nother, to a whole nother level of mythology and the others and the Dharma Initiative and the island's powers and people having powers and stuff. So I mean, we don't know what JJ's show would have been like, but uh, and we won't know unless he tells us what his plans were in the future. Um. You never know. But uh, for the start of the season, for the start of Lost altogether, I think the pilot part one is a good episode to start off with. I think it really shows what the, where the show is going with mystery and the adventure of it and everything. Them going to the cockpit and stuff. So that's all I have to say about pilot part one.